arthroscopic excision of heterotopic ossification from the piriformis fossa. Many of us have encountered HO after hip arthroscopy, and we have excised HO from the anterior capsule and rectus femoris, where it is commonly found. This is a case of a 25-year-old man who underwent bilateral femoral nailing through limb lengthening and subsequently developed symptomatic HO in the piriformis fossa. He had seen several hip arthroscopists who did not recommend arthroscopic excision of the HO because of the posterior location of the HO and its proximity to the sciatic nerve. This pearl shares how to successfully remove HO from the piriformis fossa. When setting up for surgery, I recommend positioning the C-arm in between the legs so you can achieve AP and lateral views of the hip. We use the proximal and distal peritrochanteric portal, which would approach the HO laterally rather than posteriorly and risk damage to the sciatic nerve. C-arm was then used to triangulate our scope and instrument on the HO. Once the HO was identified arthroscopically, an Arthrex Apollo H50 probe was used to expose the HO and dissect the soft tissues. A burr was then used to debulk the HO, and then a grasper was used to remove the HO from the soft tissues. C-arm demonstrates the bulk of the HO has been excised. However, there is still prominence and bony osteophyte over the piriformis fossa. This needs to be resected. A burr was then used for further resection of the bony osteophyte. Orthogonal views from the C-arm, AP, and lateral views demonstrate the HO has been completely excised. Thank you.